So today, I will be showing you how to bathe a giant German Shepherd. Now, you should know, I have never done this before because you need to be very strong to do that and my dad usually does it. So I thought I'd do it for the first time in front of a lot of people. So, first step, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna go get him. Thunder, Mikey! Thank God, he's listening to me, that's a really Mikey? Okay, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do, we are gonna get the hose. Oh! We're gonna get the hose. I almost slipped and lost my life. It's not enough water. Papa, will you help me with the water? So for those of you who have big dogs. He's gonna jump. I'm sure you can relate. Let me try, let me try and see Don't if, if he's on it right away. Donde? Sit. Sit. Donde? Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, now we're gonna just, sorry, sorry, I know it's called Wim Hof. Wim Hof method, the spread beef. Yeah. There we go. Good boy. This is the sweetest dog. His name is Thunder, Mowgli, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> no en las orejas. <laughs> not, not in the, in the ears, not, not in the, in the ears. ears. Okay. All right, okay, so we're gonna get all, we're gonna get real wet here. I've accepted this. Okay, so we're gonna. You wanna help? So, I'm te this is supposed to be me teaching you guys how to do something. So if you have a big dog, just grab them, pull out the hose, and do it with me. <laughs> okay, so, thank you so much. So next, we are going to use yeah, sorry. Thunder. Thunder, 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 He's more. actually behaving a lot better than yeah, I thought he would. I thought he was going to freak out. Me too, because... Pass me more. If you guys don't know... Well, maybe it's just my dogs that I have this Thunder, sit. Like... Thunder, sit. Thunder, sit. Yeah, good boy. Caesar Milan, I hope you're proud. So, um, Thunder is incredibly afraid of water. Like, he looks like the most terrifying dog. Like, if you see him, he looks like a like a wolf, like at night you can't even see him. He looks so scary, but when we're in the pool, and he cowers in fear. So I'm actually surprised that he's, that he's behaving so well. Oh, what happened to the voice? Escuchate esto. Okay, uh, that was the voice of God. Donde ven aquí, ven aquí. Okay guys, so, all right, now we're gonna try and just wet him up. There we go. Yes. Thunder, you like that cold therapy. All right. All right. Okay, guys. This is going so much better than I thought it would. I thought he would run away from me. Okay, there he is. There he is. He's not gonna be stinky anymore and smell like he's licking his bottle. There we go. Oh, I didn't bathe his, uh, I didn't shower his tail. Wait, wait. You did? Okay. All right. Now I bathe myself. <laughs> okay, so I, I think he's, wait, like, wait, do, do we need conditioner for dogs? No, we just need a towel. Moisturizer? Owl. Pimple cream? Do you want me to get one inside? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. Come here. You're gonna get Papa Ben. ben. Okay, now he actually. Ben. Now he's ben. he's run away. Come here. Come here. Ben. Come here, sweet boy. Ben. Ben. How do I do that? Oh, thank you so much. I see people's donations right now. It's so cool. Thank you. 
So cool. You see people like the amount and the amount they're donating. Sit, sit. Okay, guys. So now we're going to give him a little bit of a treat. For doing such a good job. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. You gave him my treat for me. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'll just, uh, just eat it myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. And we're we're drying him up right now. Here, uh, can you can you guys hold this so I can um Come here. Thank you. So I was either bathing thunder or cooking fried plantains and I just thought Under his neck. Under his neck. I just Don't get the back of his body. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sweet boy. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for being a part of my live like stream boy. and helping me today. Like I don't like doing live streams alone. This is so fun. This is really beautiful. This is really fun. Yeah. He smells amazing. He smells good. He, he smells didn't smell beautiful. great this morning. He didn't smell great. Now he smells fantastic. Like, you should get this like as a cologne. Mmm, smells good. Guys, I know my fans already know this, but Thunder's secretly my favorite dog. <laughs> you guys know that. Okay, so now we're going to... Oh, he's got some um, soap on his tail. There we go. Yeah, Thunder. There we go, okay. Oh, he's shivering. I know, okay. Now we're gonna dry him up so that he doesn't get sick. Okay, sweet. There we go. There we go. You did such a good job. Yeah. You did such a good job. Look at all the people that are donating the money because of you. Because you're so nice and sweet. And you did such a good job. There we go. All right. Okay. So you want to answer questions? Yes, I would love to answer some questions. So... Want me to finish drawing him? Or are you good? Um, Mamila, I can I can do it while answering questions. Mamila, you so you, know, Mama, you you ask. just pick you pick for me. Like yeah. you just read them and tell me which one. Amelia, you know, ask what color are you feeling today? What color? That's a great question. Blue. My favorite color. His see. face is super wet. Huh? His face is so okay, wet. Okay, let me dry him. No. Yeah, blue is my blue is my favorite of all colors. And I would say I like this blue, but I also like I... turquoise a lot. That's my favorite color. Yes, so blue. Blue face. Blue face. It's rules. Rules. S H W M. Cool. Ask rules, Sean. Watch. <laughs> down without the A. I was like, rules, Sean. What a beautiful name. What changed your life after you start meditating and doing yoga? Okay. Don't get, get me started. Don't get me started, guys. Because right. right. you know, this is all I've been talking about over the past couple months. Um. Well, I mean. He's so Thank cold, so he's shivering. Come here, come here, baby. Here, you, you hold this okay. and, then, and I'll finish drying it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, I, I definitely think that there's been nothing better for my mental health than meditation. I mean, yoga is something that I've been trying recently, but I think for somebody that before I struggled with a lot of anxiety and that kind of came as a... I was like trying all of these different things that would hopefully help me like manage it and feel better and I committed myself for the over the past six months to meditating every single day and I have not skipped a day since because it just gives you a lot more freedom of choice like it's, it helps you kind of see your patterns and see your thoughts and see your emotions and helps you just manage them better instead of just getting swept up in them because I know that I have a tendency to have a flair for the dramatics and I have it in my mind as well. So meditation it makes me less dramatic and in the right in the right ways. <laughs> so next question. Let's see. Would you rather be able to time travel or breathe underwater? Ah! Well, I would say maybe time travel because in the future maybe they'll find ways for humans to breathe underwater. Although I guess you can already breathe underwater, like with scuba diving and stuff. And if I had the ability to breathe underwater I know I would get eaten by a shark. Or I don't want to be in the same space as sharks. That was Nervous Camila. So I'll say time travel. Who nervous that? Camila, what a unique name. <laughs> I love you. Let's see. What's the best meal you have made with your new cooking skills? Says Bippity Cabello. Bippity Cabello. Um, the best meal. I once made a chicken jambalaya. 
I was really proud of that. It was like, it was so, I was sweating like a pig doing it. Cause it was, it was a lot. It was a lot of ingredients. The most I've ever, most I've ever had. So yeah, chicken jambalaya was the best thing I made. By the way, hello guys. I love you. To all my fans watching this, I'm like reading these questions and I'm saying like nervous Camila, bippity cabello, easy tissue. And I'm like, oh my God, I have fans and they love me. It's nice. <laughs> So I love you guys, um, and I hope that you guys are all coping um, as best you can in these crazy times, and I can't imagine what everybody's individual struggles are out there, but I've got you in my heart, and I love you, and I'm thinking of you, and yeah, care about you guys, so sending you love. Oh. Great. Next question. Lips Carls asks, any advice for people who are having a hard time with anxiety right now? Yes. Um, I find that the thing that has helped me the most with anxiety and just like navigating difficult emotions like that is really one, uh, sen having self-compassion for yourself and just being like, oh yeah, this time is insane there's so much up in the air right now there are so many completely reasonable rightful sources of stress and so yeah of course I'm feeling anxious right now so I'm just gonna give myself a break and say okay I'm feeling anxious I accept this makes sense now what can I do to take care of myself and I find that self-compassion is first with accepting that you're human and we all struggle and we all um, are navigating difficult emotions like that and then being like, okay, now how can I take care of myself? How can I show up for myself? And for me, that's, you know, committing to little practices like drinking enough water every day, doing, you know, mindfulness for 10 minutes, like taking care of myself when I'm experiencing a strong emotion instead of like, you know, getting mad at myself for it. Um, but yeah, like one, loving yourself and knowing that you're human for going through it. And two, taking action to take care of yourself in some way, whether that's journaling your thoughts down or doing a meditation or um, doing yoga, doing exercise, going for a walk, whatever it is. Like, it's not selfish to have self-love. It's not selfish to take care of yourself because when you are good, then that's what enables you to show up for other people, you know? So, yeah, I think self-love is, it's a cliche thing to say because everybody talks about it, but it really is, I think the you know the answer to life you know martha shamila asks what is keeping you healthy and active during this quarantine like what is your favorite routine it's a great question um sorry i'm just getting a text from my team i'm just making sure oh cool okay i can move my donation sticker around maybe to the top of the comments right here okay Oh, great. Amazing. Thank you so much to everybody donating, by the way. This is really beautiful that, you know, it's an insanely hard time right now, but it's definitely, thank you, that it's definitely beautiful that we're all coming together and helping each other, you know, if, if we can. So, so thank you guys. Okay, let's see another question. Oh, I can't see comments here. Okay. What do you do on your free time? Um, has anybody discovered Disney Plus? Because they have all of the old Disney movies. I have Mulan paused in the living room. I just want to watch every single Disney movie ever created. Um, and also just like go for walks and yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, this is great. Thank you so much for donating. Guys, even donating a dollar is, is, is so nice. I see a lot of people donating that, and you're donating what you can. And So thank you. Where's Waldo? I don't know. It's getting dark. It gets so dark out here so fast. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's a good Netflix show to binge? Okay, guys, I've been binging a lot of, like, dating reality shows. 
It's a guilty pleasure. Okay, Extreme Engagement. Definitely watch that. Too Hot to Handle, honestly. Definitely watched it. That's the <laughs> truth. So I'll just be open about that and say that. Okay, let's see. How's Leo and Eugene? Who? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> My fans all get mad at me because they know I love Thunder the most. But guys, I love Leo and Eugene too. They're special in their own ways, even though Eugene straight up ate his own vomit yesterday. And Leo's mouth smells like butthole. Are you still alive? Yeah. Can't find me. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, I am, I am. Okay. Um, let's see. But yeah, Leo and Eugene are great. They're great. They fight a lot, but they're great. What is your favorite song you sing? Mm, that's a great question. I love, I love First Man and used to this. I'm learning First Man on the piano, which is cool. I've been practicing so much guitar. I'm like learning all of my songs on, on guitar and piano, which is fun. And I definitely have something to show you guys very soon, but I won't say anything else, but... You should know that I am working on something cool. Can you sing for us? Somebody just asked me, will I have kids? I don't know. I hope so. I don't know. Depends on what you want. Um, mm. I'm looking at your guys' questions. What's your... F Let's see. Thank you so much for saying that about First Man. Somebody put, Roxanne, Roxanne. All she wanna do is body on it. What is your zodiac sign? I am Pisces. I am Pisces as well. You know what that means? Very emotional, very sensitive. Everything is a lot. Rotating back to the dramatic thing that I told you about. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is some uh, question from Instagram. Oh, cool. What was your favorite fairy tale growing up? What was my favorite fairy tale growing up? Just checking with my team to see that I have it. Okay. What was my favorite fairy tale growing up? Love Belle. I loved Beauty and the Beast um, because I loved that she read a lot. My modern favorite is Tangled, but I'm also literally in a remake of Cinderella that I started making this year, but then it got stopped because of COVID, but we will finish it. And I will be Cinderella. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I can't, I can't see very well in <laughs> any glasses. Wait, I'm seeing. Happy birthday. I missed your name, but happy birthday. Okay, Silly Shawnee asks, what is your favorite book right now? My favorite book right now, <laughs> don't get me started on Untamed. Obsessed with Untamed by Glennon Doyle. I seriously strongly recommend it to all of my fans. It has resonated with me so much. Um, and changed how I saw a lot of things. Like, per I can feel it permanently changed a lot in a good way. Um, I love how it's written, and I think it's a really important book for, especially young women to read, but people in general, but especially young women. So I definitely recommend it to all of my fans. And I honestly want to start a book club. I really do. I think that would be really fun. I am about to read Alicia Keys' book, More Myself. Um, which I'm very, very excited about because I saw her interview with uh, Brene Brown the other day and I love them both. And right now I am reading, I'm going to finish this book called Little Fires Everywhere. So yeah, that's, uh, I do definitely have to restrain myself from reading those books all day because it's so fun. Are you making any quarantunes during this quarantine, says Fallen and Cabello. Um, I am definitely, I mean, I'm practicing guitar and piano so much and just kind of messing around, but I really would love to come back, you know, when, hopefully when, when this is over, um, just knowing, you know, writing 
um, on musical instruments, and I've always wanted to, but didn't really have a lot of time before. Like I usually, I wrote to beats and instrumentals, but it's been really fun to learn that. It's like crazy. It's like learning that is like learning another language, and it's like really satisfying something that I've wanted to do for a long time because I've been wanting to really like know no no how to play guitar since like seventh grade. So that's been really fun. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Hello. Isn't this crazy how dark it got? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Look at the, the sky. It's so beautiful, right? It's the same color as my shirt. All right, let's see. Hi, Liz. I love the bangs, Camila. Thank you. My mom cut them. Did you watch Tiger King? I did, but I couldn't handle it. It was too harsh. Too harsh made me made me afraid of humans is there any more is there any more questions that are cool there oh right can you believe that washing your dog takes that little time I literally thought that was gonna last 30 minutes it was like Two seconds. It's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Thunder, for making it easy. Have you watched, um... Hello. Have you... What is my favorite sport? I don't really play any sports, but I feel like I could be good at soccer. I feel like I could be great at it, despite my complete lack of hand-eye coordination, which I don't think is like a big deal for sports. Big deal. No, not a big deal. It's a big deal. No, it's not. I could definitely be an amazing soccer player, and if the whole singing thing doesn't work out, besides being a dog bather and pet groomer, I think I'm going to do it. Honestly, I'm soaking wet. Sorry, it's just really cold. Um, Mommy, do you have other... It's so cold. <laughs> it's really cold. Can you just tell Papa not to come out here? Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, Jazzy Grace, I love you too. Okay, Mama, do you have any more questions that I can answer? I don't know. Let me see. Mommy, can you? It's it's. It, Alguien me puede traer pantalones? Yeah, okay. I'm so cold. Um, you kind of look like Camila Cabello. Who's gonna tell her? All right. Um, love Billie Eilish. I think she's incredible. Incredible. Hello, Valerie. Um, how do you deal? No, I'm not gonna answer that. Do. Hello, Sierra. Can you give me advice for songwriting? Advice for songwriting. Um, just be honest. Just mean it. Just mean what you say. And just make stuff that feels good. Don't ever con convert it into, like, always make it, make it play. Because that's what it is. Just always make it fun. When will you have your next concert? As soon as all of this is okay and passes, which it will because everything changes. But hopefully, hopefully soon. What's my middle name? Just curious. It is incredibly dark, so I'm going to start heading back in. Um, because you guys can't see me anymore. You definitely can't see me anymore. Um, my middle name is actually Camila. My first name is Carla. With a K. Ooh, oh my God. It's really hard to put these pants on. Um, 
Do I love my mother? Yes! Happy Mother's Day! Okay. Mommy, do you have any more questions that I can answer? Can you can you hold this phone for me? Do you love me? Um, yes, I love you no, so I much. Love um, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments how everybody is feeling or any questions that you want me to answer. I'm back. All right, I'm back. You can see me now. This is much better. Oh, this is great. Now I can see. Now I can see what everybody's saying. Well, I just want to say, um, I just want to hear how you guys are. I miss you guys. I really miss you. I miss talking to you and hanging out. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. Where are you? It's so dark. I know. Oh, I know. You're snuggling with your cats. I'm sorry, Reese Pieces, that you're feeling bad. What is the dumbest thing one of your dogs has done? Um, definitely lick their butthole and then try to kiss me. And also, and also vomit and then eat the it's not great. I'm super smart. I wouldn't do it, personally. Wouldn't really do that. Content. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so so entertaining reading the comments. Um, favorite Harry Potter movie? It's a great question. A hundred percent. The one where Robert Pattinson goes underwater. What is it? What is it? What is it? The cup. Frick. What is it? Harry Potter and the... Oh, Sorcerer's Game. Sean is going to kill me. He's going to break up with me for this. Um, what is it? With the When he puts the papers... The third one. The third one. They go in. There's mermaids. Oh, sorry. I tried. Harry Potter fans, I tried. Greetings from, no, I have not seen Outer Banks. My sister told me it's very, very good. Um, what state do you live in? I live in. Flo Rada. Keep supporting Music Cares and the Actors Fund. Remember, TikTok will be matching all donations up to $10 million. Um, or you can go on hashtag one community and TikTok and donate through there. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Just know that I absolutely love you. And to my fans, I am so grateful for you. Thank you for your love and your sweetness and your relentless love. Um, I love you guys very much. And I'm really, really thankful for you. And I can't wait to show you guys the stuff that I've been working on. Can't wait for new music. Um, I can't wait to see you. I hope that you're doing okay. Um, you don't have to be doing great right now. It's totally understandable, but I hope that you're doing okay. And if not, definitely remember to be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself because we're all just human. And we're all going through human shit. And it's not easy. And this is from Glennon Doyle's book. She says, it being hard is not a sign that you're doing it wrong. It's a sign that you're doing it right. And that these are crazy times. So I love you guys very, very much. And I'm sending you a big hug and a big kiss. Hugging the screen. My lips are chapped. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for donating. And I love you guys. Have a good night. Have a good Saturday and happy Mother's Day.